Hi, I am a Java developer and in this video I would like to explore how I can use the Gluon plugin for Eclipse to create sample applications in Java that can run both on the desktop and mobile. I assume that you have a knowledge of Java Eclipse and basic knowledge of Java FX. I will start with the results. I created two projects, two applications. Each application has two projects, parent project and sub project. The sub project contains package folders for different platforms and also common package folders. Here you can see the generated Java source files. The other application has the same structure, only it's simpler, so it has uh, fewer Java source files. If you want to run the applications, then you can use Gradle task, application run. The other tasks are uh, for generating packages on different platforms. So let's try to run it on desktop. Because I don't have license, I have this next screen. This is single view application, at bar with title, some uh, buttons, button here and label. Now let's see the other application. This is a multi-view application. I have drawer, I can switch between views and I can quit. Now the setup. First of all, this is the link to the documentation. This is, it is this page. The detailed documentation for Gluon, Gluon Mobile is here. Here you can see the architecture, plugins for different IDEs. For this example, I use Gluon plugin for Eclipse. There are basically two ways of uh, running Java mobile application. Uh, one is uh, using Java FX ports, which uh, is a framework and it works with uh, Java 8. And the other is using Gluon Virtual Machine, which works with Java 8 and 9. Right now they are developing a new version or new approach, Gluon Client Plugin, which can run with uh, Java 11 and uh, in the future possibly higher version. Right now it is in beta and on mobile I think it works only on iOS. For this example I use Java 8, I use the latest IDE Eclipse for Enterprise Java development developers. Important thing is that I run the IDE on this Java because the Gradle which is used with the sample applications is not able to recognize a higher version of Java. Then I installed plugin for Java FX. I installed it in a standard way through Eclipse Marketplace where I just uh, type I have it already installed but normally you just click install and follow the instructions and you have it. Uh, then it's necessary to install Gluon plugin for Eclipse. Uh, for this version of uh, IDE this plugin, this version of plugin is not working because 
the latest Eclipse IDE has some bundles which uh, have higher version than uh, is allowed by this uh, Gluon plugin. So I found uh, an issue on the internet. Uh, it is uh, this page and when you scroll down you can find this repository and you just install local repository and from the repository uh, you can uh, install the latest version which works fine with the latest uh, Eclipse I just did uh, install new software add and here local and selected the repository and then follow the instructions and with this Eclipse is ready but for Android it's also necessary to install Android SDK so I installed the Android Studio the latest Android Studio that you can find on the internet and it's necessary to set the path to the Android SDK so that uh, the grader can find it. There are multiple ways they are described in this documentation. I selected uh, the way that uh, I set Android home environment variable to the path to Android SDK. This is the path on window, on Windows. So if you have Linux or Mac OS, you need to find out uh, the path on your system. But probably you will just search the internet and you can find it. So with this, you are ready to create uh, the sample applications. To create the sample applications, it's very easy. You just go to File, New, Other, and here you have Gluon. There are multiple possibilities. The first three are for Gluon Desktop, Desktop with uh, Gluon Desktop Library. I created this uh, mobile multi-view project and this mobile single view project. This one is with FXML and this one has some additional library and the last one works or should work with Gluon VM. I didn't try them, I just tried these two. So when you select it, you just go next. I already have this name so I need another one. Uh, for the first time when you do it, you are asked for a license key. Uh, if you go to the documentation and if you go to Eclipse and creating a Gluon project, then for the first time you have this dialogue. Here you need to put your email address and your license key. If you don't have it, you just leave it blank. But then, and you have a free version, but then you have the next screen. Every, every time you start your application, you will receive this next screen. And then when you continue, you just select uh, the platform you want to use and click finish and it will generate the projects for the application with the source files and everything and you can use it. Okay, so that's all what I wanted to show. If you have any questions or comments you can leave them. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.